Germany, one of the first countries to reopen and the place that ruined tiny mustaches for the rest of us. One non-human victim of the coronavirus pandemic has been Germany's famous clubbing scene. But now there's a new club for Germans who can't wait to get back to the dance floor, but still want to be responsible. Well, the clubs are closed, but the beat goes on for partygoers at this drive-in rave in Germany. DJs pumped out the music to the car-bound crowd. Socially distant dancing was allowed with no more than two people per vehicle. Jawohl! Because of Corona, Germans have started attending raves in their cars, which I guess explains the new options at their gas stations. And I can't wait to see all the new club dancers that are gonna be inspired by this. 10 und 2, 10 und 2, do the 10 und 2, come on, y'all. But once again, Corona is making people appreciate the things that we used to hate. Because you realize right now, this is a drive-in rave. But before Corona, we just called that traffic. Yeah, look at that. You can't tell if it's a rave or just rush hour on the 405. So that's the party scene for adults in Germany. And the good news is, in China, kids can also get back to having fun too. Disneyland in Shanghai just reopened today, and this could pave the way for Disney World in Orlando to reopen. Give you an idea of what it to expect. The park in China is going to be kept at less than 30% capacity. Lines and rides are going to be spaced out to meet social distancing guidelines, and visitors will be screened for fevers. Characters also are no longer giving hugs or high fives, but visitors can still take selfies. Yes. This is great news. Disneyland Shanghai is back in business just with a few added safety measures, such as no hugging the characters, you know, like Cinderella, Ariel, and Snow White. And I know that's really gonna suck for all the kids and their creepy dads. And I think staying away from Disney characters is a great idea, especially Donald Duck. I mean, that dude doesn't wear pants and he spits when he talks. It's like a one-man Corona factory. <laughs> now, if Disneyland wants me to come back, they gotta add even more precautions. I'm not playing with my life. First of all, Disneyland, you gotta get rid of the seven dwarves. Yeah, I'm sorry, but Sneezy and Sleepy, those guys are not cute anymore. Those are just coronavirus symptoms. Oh, and also, from now on, I say that nobody should be allowed to open their mouth when they're screaming on a ride. You just gotta hold it in. And finally, in Canada, people still aren't able to go out and have fun. But one province is offering at least some help to families on lockdown. You see, the old rule was that you were only allowed to have contact with people in your household bubble, as it was called. But now they're saying that families can choose to double bubble by pairing up with another family. Yeah. So each household will be allowed to hang out with members from another household and you can only choose one family and that decision is final. It's the perfect solution for all those people who are tired of screaming at their own family. Now you have a whole new family to scream at. And let's be honest, there's probably gonna never be a better time to bring your first family and your secret family together. Honey, I have to confess something. I have a secret family. What? So you're telling me that somewhere we could have gotten extra Purell this whole time and you didn't say anything? If I was in Canada, I would choose to live with Drake. Yeah, no one's thought of that. Have you seen the size of his house? It's so big, you could double bubble for months with that mother and the two of you would never meet. Left side's yours, right side's mine.